Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at RetroArch. This is the best emulator found within Cydia, and the reason why I say that is because it's a multi-system emulator. Uh, it's a free application, and it doesn't even have any advertisements. So, hands down, yes, it's the best emulator. Uh, with RetroArch, you will be able to play um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 1, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, and much, much more, even Sega, Sega Genesis. You'll be able to play all those games right through this application. Uh, now, in this first video, I just want to cover the tools that you're going to need to be able to use this application. It's a bit of a process, so kind of hang in with me there as I go through these tutorials. So, first thing is first, go ahead and download RetroArch, and there are two other things you're going to need from Cydia in order to do this. We can go ahead and jump over here. The next tweak you're going to need is Safari Download Manager. This is going to allow you to download uh, BIOS files for PlayStation and also uh, the ROMs for the, the actual games from Safari directly on your device. Uh, I want to keep this all on the device, no computer, computers involved, it's, it's much more organic this way. And the uh, next application you're going to need is iFile. This is going to allow you to browse your entire file system and also move things around. Uh, this is how you're going to you know, get your ROMs working and or getting BIOS uh, files into the PlayStation Core and all that stuff. So uh, download those three things. Again, that's RetroArch, Safari Download Manager, and iFile. Now once you've downloaded all those, we can go ahead and exit out of Cydia here and I'll go over to my last page. The next thing you're going to want to do is get cool ROMs on your springboard like I have here. And the way you do that is just go to coolrom.com. I'll leave the link down in the description. And once you're here, all you got to do is go ahead and click the little arrow and add it to your home screen. Uh, if this is something you're going to be doing a lot, I'd recommend doing that so that you don't have to constantly open up Safari and go to this web page. Uh, it's just basically a shortcut. Now the next part is we're going to go into iFile and set up the file systems to um, basically get the ROMs. Uh, this is a big part as well. We want to keep things organized when we're doing this so we don't lose track of what where ROMs are, where BIOS are, uh, all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to launch iFile here and I'm going to go ahead and back all the way out so you guys can see uh, what path you need to take to get to uh, the folders that are needed here. So we're going to go ahead and back all the way out, go ahead and scroll all the way down to VAR and then scroll down until you see mobile right there and then go ahead and go into documents. Now within documents, you're gonna to wanna to create a ROMs folder. Uh, this does not happen automatically, so you're gonna to have to do it yourself. The way you do it is go ahead and click edit, and then down in the lower left-hand corner here is a little plus symbol. Go ahead and push that, and then you can go ahead and make a folder like I did, and just name it ROMs, so that you know where all your games are. And then you can go ahead and just click create. You don't have to touch anything else here. Just put in the name and click create. I'm not going to because I already have it. And then the last thing you're going to want to do before you exit iFile is click the little gear down here. And then you want to go to File Manager and you're going to want to turn on Hidden Files. Turn that on. That's an essential part for the PlayStation uh, side of things. So just turn that on. And then as you can see, after you turn that on, you will see the dot retro arch folder right there that's normally hidden. So we can go ahead and exit iFile, and that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, I will be uploading the next video here very, very shortly, which is going to show you how to download these ROMs and actually unarchive them and use them with RetroArch. Uh, this was just the, the kind of first step video in getting your device ready to do this because it is pretty in intensive. Like I said, this is the most advanced emulator there is in Cydia. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That will help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more tutorials, like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.